of Home Vegetable Gardening by Frederick Fry Rockwell. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Read by Christine Rucker, June 28, 2021, Westford, Massachusetts. Introduction. Formerly, it was the custom for gardeners to invest their laborers and achievements with a mystery and secrecy which might well have discouraged any amateur from trespassing upon such difficult ground. Trade secrets in either flower or vegetable growing were acquired by the apprentice only through practice and observation, and in turn jealously guarded by him until passed on to some younger brother in the profession every garden operation was made to seem a wonderful and difficult undertaking now all that has changed in fact the pendulum has swung as it usually does to the other extreme often you are a beginner you have been flatteringly told in print that you could from the beginning do just as well as the experienced gardener my garden friend it cannot as a usual thing be done of course, it may happen, and sometimes does. You might be a trusting lamb, go down into Wall Street with $10,000. Editors note, all monetary values throughout this book are 1911 values. And make a fortune. You know that you would not be likely to. The chances are very much against you. This garden business is a matter of common sense, and the man, or the woman, who has learned by experience how to do a thing, whether it is cornering the market or growing cabbages, naturally does it better than the one who has not. Do not expect the impossible. If you do, read a poultry advertisement and go into the hen business instead of trying to garden. I have grown pumpkins that necessitated the tearing down of the fence in order to get them out of the lot, and sometimes, though not frequently, have had to use the axe to cut through a stalk of asparagus. But I never made 17,010 months from an eggplant in a city backyard. No, if you are going to take up gardening, you will have to work, and you will have a great many disappointments all that i or anyone else could put between the two covers of a book will not make a gardener of you it must be learned through the fingers and back too as well as from the printed page but after all the greatest reward for your efforts will be the work itself and unless you love the work or have a feeling that you will love it probably the best way for you is to stick to the grocer for your garden most things in the course of development change from the simple to the complex. The art of gardening has in many ways been an exception to the rule. The method of culture used for many crops are more simple than those in vogue a generation ago. The last 50 years has seen a tremendous advance in the varieties of vegetables. And the strange thing is that in many instances the new and better sorts are more easily and quickly grown than those they have replaced. The new lima beans are an instance of what is meant. While limas have always been appreciated as one of the most delicious of vegetables, in many sections they could never be successfully grown because of their aversion to dampness and cold and of the long season required to mature them. The newer sorts are not only larger and better, but hardier and earlier, and the bush forms have made them still more generally available. Knowledge on the subject of gardening is also more widely diffused than ever before, and the science of photography has helped wonderfully in telling the newcomer how to do things. It has also lent an impetus and furnished an inspiration which words alone could never have done. If one were attempt to read all the gardening instructions and suggestions being published, he would have no time left to practice gardening at all. Why then, the reader may ask at this point, another gardening book? It is a pertinent question, and it is right that an answer be expected in advance. The reason then is this. While there are garden books in plenty, most of them pay more attention to the content than to the form in which it is laid before the prospective gardener. 
the material is often presented as an accumulation of detail instead of by a systematic and constructive plan which will take the reader step by step through the work to be done and make clear constantly both the principles and the practice of garden making and management and at the same time avoid every digression unnecessary from the practical point of view other books again are either so elementary as to be of little use where gardening is done without gloves or too elaborate however accurate and worthy in other respects for an everyday working manual the author feels therefore that there is a distinct field for the present book and while i still have the reader by the introduction buttonhole i want to make a suggestion or two about using a book like this do not on the one hand read it through and then put it away with the dictionary and the family bible and trust to memory for the instruction it may give do not on the other hand wait until you think it is time to plant a thing and then go and look it up for instance do not about the middle of may begin investigating how many onion seeds to put in a hill you will find out that they should have been put in in drills six weeks before read the whole book through carefully at your first opportunity make a list of the things you should do for your own vegetable garden and put opposite them the proper dates for your own vicinity keep this available as a working guide and refer to special matters as you get to them do not feel discouraged that you cannot be promised immediate success at the start i know from personal experience and from the experience of others that book gardening is a practical thing if you do your work carefully and thoroughly you may be confident that a very great measure of success will reward the efforts of your first garden season and i know too that you'll find it the most entrancing game you ever played good luck to you End of chapter 1